In this lesson, we're going to discuss adding dynamic page content. So let's go. We're going to start the same project that we were for the static content. I already have a page created to add dynamic content to. Again, dynamic content is video and flash animations. So let's browse to a video. Videos can be full screen or scaled to the size you need. And we're going to drag that onto the page. You will see the first frame of the video. Let's scale that up as well. And if you need to add some text, go ahead and do that as well. I'm just going to add some here. And I already have some cut and pasted. I'll make that black. Maybe a little smaller. There we go. And we'll put that in the center and reduce that drop shadow. And what's great about dynamic video content is the page dwell time. Let me save this and get back to the page section. And once that's saved, you'll see the scheduling or the page dwell time will adhere to the length of time of the clip of this video itself. So it automatically updates. Next, let's add another piece of dynamic content. This time it'll be Flash. We're going to copy this page to add it to it. And we'll double click it to get to the page editor. And let's delete the video file we added previously. And the text object. And let's go find some flash. Flash could be video, it could be animations. We'll just grab an, a quick animation here. I have our parking permit required here. Let's scale that up as well. Now flash won't adhere to dwell time since you can loop flash animations. So let's add some text. And I copied and pasted from a, another file here that black like we did previously make it the same size as Let's put that in the center there and there you go so let's save and exit that and you just hit close and it prompt you to save and that'll update on the screen there's other types of dynamic content such as RSS feeds and we'll discuss that in a later video thank you